The perfect tense is the most important past tense, so let's better take a look at how to construct it. If I translate that literally, that is, I have my homework done. And this is how the Germans use the perfect past tense. The second part here is always the same for each person and it's called the past participle or participle 2, particip 2. Not that you need to know that, just in case you want to look for that. So let's take a look at how to construct it regularly. In another video we will take care of the irregular forms. Geliebt, for example, comes from the verb lieben, which means to love. And all I've got to do is to just eliminate the en from the infinitive and put the ge and the t um, around the stem. Gekocht, you might guess the um, infinitive yourself, comes from kochen. Gearbeitet is a bit special, but the specialty is known to you by the present tense. The stem of arbeiten ends in a t, so you have to add an additional e to make it sound good. Here we come to the separable verbs. The separable verbs usually separate the beginning of the verb and put it at the very end, but in the past tense it's at the very end, uh, together, with the exception that the well, specialty that the GE is in between the separable part and the stem of the verb. You can see that easily here, so if you know the separable verbs this shouldn't be a problem. And the inseparable verbs, they behave absolutely different. The B and R verzer gemisst, the inseparable prefixes, these little tiny parts here, they don't like GE, so they just don't take it, they don't allow any other GE in the sentence, in the word, I'm sorry. So be aware, inseparable verbs don't use the GE, but they still add the T here and they are still regular, most of them. So trainiert is another special word. There is no prefix here, so why doesn't it take a GE? Well, trainiert is one of, let's say, a hundred words, uh, verbs that end in ihren. And all of these ihren verbs can take a GE, but they are mostly regular. Yeah? For example, dokumentieren, to document or documentarize, um, dokumentiert, fotografieren, fotografiert, and so on. This is it. This is everything you need to know about the regular past tense called the perfect.